Jesus appears to the disciples, then Thomas. Mark chapter 16, verse 9 to 18. Luke chapter 24, verse 33 to 49. And John chapter 20, verse 19 to 3. The disciples had not believed the report from the women who had visited the tomb that Jesus was alive. Then later that day, two of them had been walking to the nearby village of Emos when Jesus had appeared to them. They had rushed back to report the news. That evening, the disciples locked the doors of the room they were in, afraid that the Jews might arrest them. While they were still talking, Jesus himself stood among them and said, Peace be with you. They thought they were seeing a ghost and were frightened. Jesus said to them, Why are you troubled and have doubts? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see me. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as I have. Jesus showed them the scars on his hands and feet where he had been nailed to the cross. The disciples were full of joy and amazement, but still thought they were seeing a ghost. Do you have anything here to eat? Jesus asked. They gave him a piece of broiled fish and Jesus ate it. As they watched, they now knew they were not seeing a ghost. Then Jesus started explaining from the scriptures that it was always God's plan the Messiah must suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Jesus told them that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, Jesus explained. I am going to send the Holy Spirit who will give you power from on high. Jesus then disappeared from their sight. Now, one of Jesus' disciples, Thomas, had been missing. When others told him, We have seen the Lord, he did not believe them. Unless I see and touch the nail marks in his hands and put my hand into wound on his side, I will not believe, Thomas announced. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and this time, Thomas was with them. The doors were locked. Suddenly, Jesus appeared and said, Peace be with you. Then turning to Thomas, Jesus said, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told Thomas, You have believed because you have seen me. How happy are those who have believed but who have not seen me.